Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And there's a breeze. This is my shovel. This is my reservoir. This is a homemade scoop out of a piece of refuse. The lipstick and moisturizer, I believe. And I have some folk art gold and some deco art gold. And I think I can get that out of there and that would be really good if I could. This is some Anita's white metallic. This is some more Anita's black metallic. This is my regular mix of black. And it occurs to me I might want some regular white. Maybe even some white and whoa! <laughs> some white enamel. So maybe I will just give myself a little tiny coating of white enamel right in the bottom there. And then some black. And the idea behind not adding just black and white next to each other that's more, is that they do tend to make gray. So that's where I think the metallics come in. Now I've got behind me a pre-primed 16 by 20 inch canvas and it was black to begin with and I added another layer. It's not very dry but it's mostly dry. I want that to come out so I have free-flowing gold paint. And it's still not doing that for me so I'm going to grab a skewer. Sometimes if you use the dull end of the skewer in your paint tips, it pushes all the extra gunky stuff up. This is still not being very cooperative. Okay, well, we've got enough. Yes. So that dries really shiny. I'm extremely tempted to put some of the red fire opal in there, but I really want to try this first. Here comes the black from Anita's, which is actually... It looks the same, but it's very gunmetal gray. And I really want quite a bit of paint in here. And I have no idea how this is going to work. And I'm very curious. And I think I'm going to surround everything. No, I want the white metallic. Whoops. I'm just going to add a whole bunch of that white metallic, which I often refer to as pearl. And then I'm just going to keep on going with the gold as best I can. And come back with the black one more time. And maybe the white. <laughs> I would like enough paint in there. to be able to leave some good marks in my... Now, the shovel I'm going to scoop out and I'm just going to put it down in patterns. I may fill as much of this as I possibly can. Like I said, this is really fresh. I'm going to scrape off the bottom of my shovel. Uh, chances are not bad that I will maybe get some cells, especially if I tip that over. It's going to look a lot like dragons, I, I suspect. I've been Dragons have been on my mind a lot lately. I want to do a dragon. And this is sort of a test run for, for the potentiality of a dragon. I also want to teach myself more, more ways to let the paint drain out of the shovel to get more interesting marks. This may be really fast. And lots of times I want to leave a lot of negative space, but this time I might just want to fill it up. Well, I'm going to leave negative space no matter what. I'm going to let some of that drip over the edge. And anytime I want to cover my edge, I just lower my shovel 
right to it. Let a drip go down. So that's kind of cool. That's mostly a pattern, which is fine by me. It's a great experiment for my first try. And I kind of want to do some other things with the smaller scoop, but I didn't start with that. So maybe I should grab that right now since I've got it right here. It's kind of deep. I, kind, I think I've learned to like them a lot shorter, more shallow. So this is, I found this in packaging and I just trimmed it down until I had a better scoop. So I'm going to try that. It's a little less wide than the shovel. Maybe a little bit more. I'm getting kind of low on paint. I don't like to use a whole lot of excess. That's pretty cool. I'm good with that. The shallow containers will get me in trouble, as in my, my thumb is going to get stuck in there. I want to just tap things in there. You know what, you know what taps in there well? taps in there well is a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and they're available on my Amazon link under the link tree under the video and I'm going to let that relax right down there and I'm going to use this bamboo skewer just to drag that up just a little bit and out. I may put some dots in here because I like the way they look. I think dots could be really cool. I need to get more gold than black though, because they kind of disappear. The black on black does not work that well. Might work better on that gold. There we go. Okay, so what did I say? Princeton Artful Catalyst Spatula. So I can take this, and I'm going to take this. What am I going to do? I'm going to dip a little bit. Yeah, all good practice for dragons. Dragon tails, whatever. Hey, hey, hey. You're a big buzzy thing. Go away. <laughs> no big buzzy things in my process. So I kind of want to dribble some ribbons, but I think I'm not done using what I've got yet either. You do have to stop and let your paint fall out, relax a little bit, or you won't get it. You won't get the patterns that you want. So it's just a basic big sketch, just a total experiment. And I definitely think that the red opal would be good. The red opal is a, um, oh gosh, it's a folk art treasures. or treasure chest or something like that. So I'm thinking I'm going to be able to make all this paint last. Come on out. And I could definitely connect the dots. I could connect the dots with lines. <laughs> How did that sound? That sounded crazy. I could let that relax and just create some lines. I got all kinds of bugs today. I'm really tempted to go back to my shovel again. Let's see what kind of abstract patterns I can make in my gold and silver ribbons. That's what's missing, the silver. I meant to put silver in there. Well, I think the white will have to do for this time. So outside of dots or ribbons, maybe we'll do some ribbons. Question is,
where to start and where to end. That's a good start. I'm not unhappy with that. And I've just about used up all of my paint so I didn't waste anything. And I have just enough to do whatever I want to do, which is um, probably going to be dotting a few things. If it doesn't mix too much, that would be good. I think the dots are important. I wanted to do this for a while. I just kept forgetting. Alright, so now it's time to be brave and brazen and do that last ribbon dribble. And where is it going to come from? I'm going to move some of this paint right down over the edge of the canvas. It's getting hot out here. It was already hot. Well, that's not bad. Let that go right down across the front. Add a few more textural things. Add some dimension. I don't mind those. That. Whatever. I could probably scrape a little more out of the bottom of this. probably steal a little paint if I was clever. I like the little fan shapes. They're a texture I like. That's better. I'm liking that much better. Not that I didn't like it. I did. So that's pretty well almost done, and this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, saying thanks for joining me. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, I'd love your thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw, and even if you're just a friend of mine, and you didn't like what you saw, <laughs> I would still love a thumbs up. Thank you for the great comments you leave me all the time. Thank you for the contributions that have kept me painting since like 2018, and coming back and bringing you more YouTube videos, which I love to do. I love your support. I love... I love the comments you leave me. Thank you very much for doing whatever you can to keep my morale up. That's going to be a little gun metal. A little spiral never hurt anybody. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm looking for that skewer again. I've got a little bit of paint if I want it. I've got three minutes left before my timer goes off, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I've got very little paint. But the good thing is that I can always take some gold, put it right in, and decide to use it as is. And I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I'm really liking this. It reminds me of Christmas cards I used to make with the, what was it, gouache, silver and gold inks, watercolor set. I like that if that wouldn't drip over. I think if I use the sharp end of that, I might be able to pretend there's a spiral in there. So far, not too many dots, just enough. I don't think there is <laughs> I don't think there's any such thing as too many dots. 
I got some cool dimension going on here. It's uh, monochromatic, but that doesn't seem to be a bad thing. All right, so I'm just about done, and I'm going to tell you guys whatever I'm supposed to tell you, which is check the link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Check under the video for my paint pouring recipe, and including how I mix my paint. And what do I want to do anywhere? <laughs> kind of do. Kind of want to put some spirals in, but that's maybe not a good idea. It's okay. I'm liking adding dots. That is nothing new to people who know me. That's the one I wanted to spiral out. Alright, so thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos, by the way. Uh, thank you for using my email. If you want to uh, reserve a lesson, you may. If you would like to purchase a piece of artwork, check out for the hashtag number at the end of every video. And if you're looking for the edited wet and dry versions of what I have edited so far, go to Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Fans and Collectors and look in the albums. If you have a question about anything, just use that email. I'm having too much fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get distracted easily. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you guys for joining me. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, saying I've got playlists. Look on my all playlists for creative playlists and find over 1,330 or 60 or whatever it is nowadays uh, of, of videos organized by genre and by the hundred. What else? I've got a website under the link tree and Teespring clothing, which I'll put this print on something, which will be uh, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and other cool stuff. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you dearly. Look for the end screens in the last 20 seconds of the video. You will find an exhibition video that will share with you what the monthly prizes are. And if you want to help contribute to keep the studio rolling, all that's required is that you find the PayPal or Patreon icons either on my channel header or on the link tree. I love you guys. Remember, if you've got questions, you can ask them in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, I will also answer your questions if you send them to me via email. I just don't know how quickly I'll do that. I'll work on it. I love you guys. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.